Kuchiga. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, would you put your hands together and please welcome the WBSA president and also your host for this afternoon. Would you welcome Lynn Rogers? Thank you very much. Welcome to our wild, wonderful West Virginia. We're glad everybody made it here safely. We pray that you'll be home safe when you leave here. Give thanks to the wonderful blessings that we're all giving, I'm not having to deal with the flood issue that we're, our state's dealing with. Thank every day your, your blessings that you receive. And now I'd like to introduce Senator Bob Plymouth, who has been a wonderful supporter of, the, of this event and has helped me in many, many ways. I will ask him to speak. One second. I forgot a couple of people I need to thank. My staff that works in the office and takes care of everything. My volunteer committee for the LSC. They have been nothing but superb. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart with everything that you do for us to make this event come off and to make it such a good event for Region 1. All right, now I'll bring in Senator Palmer. Uh, thank you, Lynn. On behalf of the governor of the state of West Virginia, welcome to West Virginia, Huntington, and the tri-state area. It has been my honor and privilege to be part of this event in West Virginia on both occasions, in 2009 and 2010, and last year, and now in 2016, along with the West Virginia Soccer Association. These events have changed the game of soccer and facility growth in West Virginia. Before I begin my brief comments, I would ask that we take a moment of silence. West Virginia is experienced one of the most devastating natural disasters in our state's history. Families have lost loved ones, and many of their lives changed forever. Please join me in a moment of silence to remember these families. Thank you. This this is an exciting time for teams, coaches, your families, and friends. Our community and state welcomes you with open arms. We hope that you find the hospitality and kindness from every person you meet to be genuine. We sincerely appreciate everyone being. Many of you have faced obstacles of getting here today. You know here, you are here as representatives of your state and your region. In closing, there's an African proverb, proverb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce the new mayor of the village of Barbersville, the best little village in West Virginia, and they live up to it every day. 
Chris Tatum. I just want to say thank you to Marshall University, the city of Huntington, and the surrounding areas. This event shows exactly how our area comes together to put an event like this together. Barbersville is very proud to be the host city for this tournament. We're so proud to have you families in town. And for the teams behind me, we're proud to have you too. We wish you good luck on a great tournament. And we plan many events for over the next five days for you folks. And we hope that you'll come and enjoy what we plan for you and hope you have a great time. And over the next five days, after what Senator Pommel said, we hope that this will provide people respite from the horrible events that have taken place. And we ask that you put those families in your thoughts and prayers. Thank you very much. Welcome to Barbersville. Next, I'd like to introduce the president of Marshall University, Dr. Jerome Gilbert. He's a new president here, and he doesn't know how big a partner Marshall University has been to this event. They are a team player. They go far beyond everything we need to put on an event like this. This university does housing. Scott Morehouse and his crew setting up a stadium and making things happen here. Tremendous group. Judy Carter and the housing, they, they put everything together. And I can't say enough about thank you to Marshall University for partnering with us on this. And now, Dr. Gilbert. Good afternoon. How's everyone doing? I want to start by saying welcome to Marshall University, home of the Thundering Herd. What a beautiful day for an opening ceremony and the start of this tournament. We're extremely pleased to have you here as our guests on the campus and also here in our home city of Huntington. I hope that you will get the chance to explore Huntington and Barbersville as you spend your time here in the tournament. I've only been president for about six months now, and this will be my first time at an opening ceremony. I've heard lots of great things about the ceremony, and I'm very excited to see it happen. I want to thank a number of individuals who have made this tournament possible. Lynn Roger, the tournament chairman, Natalie Schobel, Region 1 director, and our staff here at Marshall, including our athletic staff, and Tootie Carter, our orientations group. Thanks for everything you've done to make this tournament a success. I hope to see you all back here for another tournament someday, or even better for some of the students back as a Marshall student. I hope you have fun and make lots of friends. Godspeed and God bless you all. who has brought us very, very far in a two-year span, done a tremendous job for Region 1, reorganizing us and setting us on a path for our future. Now let's go over it. I know you're hot, you want to get up, and you want to get out of here. Just bear with me for a few minutes. I want to express my thanks also to Lynn, West Virginia soccer, and Marshall University. I don't think that most of you understand, it takes a full year to plan for this event. And we in Region 1 rely on states like Virginia, West Virginia stepping up and saying, hey, we'll do it. They have the best committee, the best volunteers, of all of Region 1. So let's give them a hand run. I want to also thank the Region 1 
Cup Committee. It's a committee made up again of volunteers to work with the State Association to make sure that everything goes as smooth as possible. I want to also thank all the states of Region 1 who put on their Cup event and volunteered to provide a basis for these kids to play the game they love. Now, excuse me a minute. Now, I want to thank all of you because you are the most important reason for our being here. You are to be congratulated for your hard work. We congratulate you for your hard work, your tenacity in overcoming difficulties, performing well on the soccer pitch, and make it to a lead group of being in a regional cup competition. Thank you. Okay, I also want to thank the families and parents. As a former soccer mom, I know the dinners you have given up, eaten in the car, homework done, Holiday is given up, always on a soccer field. So thank you for your support of your children. Please acknowledge your own sacrifice. Okay, just a couple other things, please. You know, when we go to a soccer event, we all expect pristine fields. Grass height perfect, surface not too hard, not too soft. West Virginia is facing families that have no yard. They don't have to worry about the grass. We also want the best hotels with the best amenities. West Virginia families, some don't have homes. So what is the connection with soccer? Last year, I spoke to you that we are a soccer family. 15 states, but all have a common bond of soccer. Many agencies, churches, community agencies, will assist families with the essentials. Let's focus on the kids. The kids of those families have gone through a crisis. What we want to do is to provide a normal escape for a while. Many of our clubs have lost their fields, their gear. Many individual families are facing their children in the fall wanting to play soccer, but there's no funds. We want to provide a normal situation and escape for these kids. So here's what I'm asking of you. On Saturday, if you come to Barbersville, we will have volunteers with orange buckets. We will also have buckets at the administration tents at each site. I am asking you to please reach in your heart, reach in your pocket, and contribute to a fund that we are going to turn over to West Virginia to help soccer families and clubs. And to start that process, Len, would you come up? On behalf of the states of Region 1, we want to start your fund by presenting a check for $5,000 to start your fund. Thank you.
Why didn't they bring a tripod in all my 